Welcome to the headquarters of my presidential campaign. My name is Henrik Kowalczyk, known as Hag at youforpresident.com. I run as a Republican. Why as a Republican? I hope that among Republicans there are still many left who would like to see this country a republic. Democrats for me are too socialistic. They would like to take it from the rich and give it to the poor. If we will be doing this consistently, there will be no rich anymore, so from whom will we will be taking them? We started the war in Iraq for no reason. We went unprepared, caused a lot of damage, hurting ourselves and others. We have to acknowledge that. It's time to get out. The war is over. The war is won by Iran. As long as we don't acknowledge that, we cannot do anything about it. About 100 years ago, terrorists were called anarchists. And then they were at the plague of the society the same way as tourists are now. Terrorists are like rats in New York. They always have been there and they always will be there. Sometimes they can hurt us as badly as they did on September 11th. The present administration elevated the bunch of wackos hiding somewhere in the case of Afghanistan or who knows where to the level of the main enemy of the greatest power on earth. Could be Laden as for more. We have to bring things to the right perspective. They are just the bunch of criminals. They have to be treated as such, and a few dozen of agents doing diligent work can achieve much more than the whole war on terror. There's no need for war on terror. There's no one of them. Most Americans see immigration as a gift that the great nation provides as a charity to the poor of the world. Before I was able to enjoy the little bit of prosperity I have here, many Americans cut their part out of my hard work. I have no problem with it. The pecking order is that Americans benefit from immigration before the immigrants do. This is the way it's supposed to be. The problem is that Americans do not realize that. About 36 million Americans are foreign born and 12 million of them are in the country illegally. If you believe that you never benefited from the work of illegal immigrants, you are likely wrong. You did. The mess on the Mexican border is not the conflict between Americans and those poor people who try to get in. There is a conflict between uh, those Americans who believe that the country benefits from the work of foreigners and those Americans who like to give politicians powers to have their dainty fingers messing with the economy. The security of the border is not threatened by foreigners. It is threatened by the absurdity of the laws established in Washington. We don't need the double layer barrier on the Mexican border. What we really need is the double layer barrier in Washington to shield economy from overzealous politicians. I suggest the Freedom of Migration Act as a common sense solution to our immigration problem. When it comes to immigration, Reagan was right. Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. The only difference between these addictive substances and the drugs, which are illegal now, is that these substances have been in use long before our politicians 
anointed themselves to tell me what is good for me, what is not. Like that wine from Georgia, for example. Let's face it, war on drugs is as effective and as good as prohibition was. We learn how to deal with these addictive substances and we have to use this knowledge and the same logic when it comes to all other drugs. There's no need for war on drugs. We have a war in Iraq, we have war on terror, war on drugs, war on poverty, we fight to secure our borders, we basically fight for everything. This house wasn't built by the war with undeveloped terrain. War, by its nature, it is a destructive action. How can we build the prosperity of the nation by the destructive actions? What about putting a little bit less stress on war and more on work? Maybe this is the way to build the prosperity of the nation. I do not have all the answers to all of our problems, but as an engineer I know that by clearly naming the problem I can find the solution. Naming the problem correctly puts me halfway into the right solution. I'm troubled that so many politicians and aspiring politicians put so much stress into what they believe. They say, I believe in this, and consequently, the right solution would be like this. I believe in that, and consequently, the solution should be like that. Well, if my, if in my professional life, I'll be making my decisions based on what I believe, not what I can find out by analyzing facts and going with some logical deductions, I'll be bankrupt. So be the nation run by politicians who put their beliefs in front of knowledge. When we look into the problems that the country is dealing with within the last few decades, be education, immigration, healthcare, war on drugs, it looks like that we are in the magic circle. Nothing is resolved. Whatever, whoever Americans elect to the top offices, appears these people cannot solve this problem. So, it looks like that Americans need to look for the solutions outside of the box. Far away outside of the box. Are Americans ready for the solutions outside of the box? I don't think so. Should they be deprived the information that the solutions outside of the box are available? I don't think so either. I am the solution outside of the box. When I will be elected the President of the United States, many words will be mispronounced, but the country will be in order. When I move from this beige house to the White House, English language will suffer, but the country will prosper. Thank you for voting. And since when this is green? <laughs>